you can see uh, it's tough to, to change surface, change weather in very short time. But uh, it's a fantastic tournament uh, here in Toronto. So I, I would like to play uh, more matches, but Radek play better and he was a good, good winner today. Was there also a slight sense of a letdown after London? And, and when did you actually get here? When did you leave London? Well, I came here Monday night. Yeah, but uh, I mean, many players pull out from here. It's not easy to play after uh, a big effort in, in, in the Olympics. But I tried anyways, and now I, I need time to to recover in my, my my body if I want to, to stay healthy. You can play Cincinnati next week. Yeah, I, I wish I wish to play there, but I need time to. Relax. In this situation, you talk about uh, your body being tired. How hard is it to sort of find the perfect balance between resting and also getting hardcore experience going into New York? Well, it was my first match in hardcore since Miami. Uh, but uh, now I will have time to. to Relax to train, and I will be 100% for the next tournament and 100% for my favorite tournament in the year. You're still scheduled uh, for a doubles later today. Is that still on? I will see. I will see now. Preparation for the Olympics first, and this this leave you more confident for the future. The bronze again. I hope so. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Beat uh, Djokovic and. For the bronze medal, uh, also lost a very, very good match against Federer. That gave me confidence to to play against them in the future. But anyway, they should work very, very hard to, to be better. Uh, a well-fought match today. Now, assuming that your doubles match is still on and how well Stepanek played, what does that do for your confidence for your doubles match later on? Well, I just lost the match. I uh, will lead something and I will talk with my partner and we see if we are 100% to play. He understands my, my situation, so I'm very fan of him and uh, we will see. Uh, just to follow up on that and given his injuries and withdrawing from the Olympics and this tournament, do you think it could be the beginning of the end for Rafael Nadal? No. Well, Rafa, I think he, he's training now and he's preparing for, for the next tournament. He's a, a warrior, you know, and he, he had a fantastic mentality, so he will be back very, very soon and very strong. Host. Last question, please. Yes, can you talk a little bit about your Olympic experience? Um, did you have some time to visit the village when you weren't playing and what it meant to play for your country and to win a, a bronze for your country? Yeah, it, was, it was fantastic, I think. I, I, been one of, of, of my best moments in my in my career playing the Olympic, uh, staying at the village some days, share with all the athletes it was fantastic and it's uh, a big big experience for me. I, I should wait for more years to play another, but uh, will be my hurt for for the rest of, of the life. Great. Thank you very much.